Mm. I even forgot how good this is. This is so good, so easy. Hey y'all, it's Whitney Miller, season one winner of Fox's MasterChef. And today we're gonna make one of my favorite slow cooker recipes, braised short ribs with roasted rainbow carrots, Brussels sprouts, and a creamy, delicious Parmesan grits. So we're using short ribs today. And you wanna try to get the ones that are nice and meaty. First, we're gonna take these and we are going to salt and pepper them. And while I do that, heat up a cast iron skillet over about medium high heat. So we're just gonna liberally season with salt and pepper the short ribs on all sides. Because you really wanna build flavor from the very beginning to this dish. Add some pepper as well. So our cast iron is nice and hot. So we're gonna add the short ribs and you should hear that sizzle. So what I'm wanting is a nice brown color, even some little bits that have uh, caramelized, that is going to seal in the juices, seal in the flavor, and also has a great look after you get done slow cooking because you don't want it to just look gray and bland. You want it to really have a nice browning. So one of the reasons I didn't try to put too many in here at a time is that you don't want to create steam. You really want to make sure you're allowing room for browning. They already smell really good, and I think they're ready to go into the slow cooker. So. I just have my slow cooker already set on high. If you want to cook them in a relatively short amount of time, then I cook them on high for about three hours or until tender. This is also a recipe that you can transition into the oven. So you could do 350 degrees and then cook for the same amount of time, about three hours as you would on high. And that is a good sear. So the other flavoring components are celery. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to also cut up and just roughly, if you don't have great knife skills, no problem. This is just a rough cut of some onion. You don't have to be a master chef to make cuts for this particular purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and roughly chop up some garlic. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Add that in. After these soften for about five minutes, we're going to transfer them into the slow cooker. Our other ingredients is about a cup of sun-dried tomatoes I'm gonna add in. Uh, we have some Worcestershire sauce, four tablespoons, and the sweetness, just, it's gonna create like this umami flavor, as well as some soy sauce. We have two tablespoons of that. Those flavors just really marry so well together. And these are perfect and ready to go into the slow cooker. And then lastly, what's gonna go in is four cups of your beef stock. And I'm just gonna give them a little wiggle room. I wanna make sure that these kind of get good into that good flavoring stock. Okay, so while our short ribs are cooking, an hour before they're done, we're gonna start our roasted vegetables. What goes along perfect with the short ribs are rainbow carrots for sweetness and roasted Brussels sprouts. Roasting really brings out the flavor in the vegetables. Even though they have nice sweetness to them, it's gonna bring it out even more when you're roasting. And we're gonna do just a little bit of olive oil and salt and that's all you need. And then just give them a nice little toss. Add some salt. And then these just go into the oven on 400 for about 45 to 50 minutes or until tender. So it also goes really well with those sweet rainbow carrots are these Brussels sprouts. Then I like to cut them down to about halfway through lengthwise, and it just creates a nice brown surface when they're roasting. So we'll just half all of these. Okay, last one. And the same simple way of olive oil, and then we'll add just about two tablespoons of those finely chopped sweet onions. And then garlic is key. Mm, I love garlic. Okay, just give this another little toss. And then we're gonna season with our salt. And we will put these in now, and the rainbow carrots and the Brussels sprouts will be done at the same time. To serve as the base for this really comforting fall dish is my Parmesan grits that are nice and creamy. 
So I've started off with heating to a boil some water, and I have five cups of water. So once this comes to a boil, we'll add in our grits. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt. I like to use a whisk, that way you don't get clumps of grits. Now the one thing you wanna do is turn it down to a low so that they simmer. So we're gonna check on the grits. They should be nice and thick. Okay, now we can add in those flavoring components, the butter and the cream, and I'm just gonna continue to give it a little stir so it doesn't pop. So we have four tablespoons of butter. And then we have about a half a cup. You can kind of use less or more depending on how creamy you want your grits. I like them pretty creamy, but you won't also want them to stand up to your short ribs. So you don't want it to be soupy. You want it to be nice and creamy and thick. And then also something else that you might not think of to use, but I'm gonna use Parmesan. And that saltiness and cheesiness takes these grits and puts them over the top. And then I'm gonna give them a little bit of salt as well. So I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna allow this to cook for about another five minutes to meld those flavors together and melt the cheese. And that'll be the perfect timing for those vegetables to come out of the oven. Our short ribs are done and they smell amazing. These are so tender. They're literally falling off the bone. Those good creamy grits are gonna be our base to our dish. Oh, so good. Add my short ribs. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this smells so good. And then dress it with that sauce. And then we're gonna add these vegetables. And then to finish it off, I have a little bit of chives that I'm just gonna dress the top with. I can't wait to dive in. This is one of my favorite fall dishes. It's so comforting and it's so easy to make. And that meat, y'all, is so tender. Mm. I even forgot how good this is. This is so good, so easy. I hope your family loves it. If you're having a dinner party this fall, be sure to put this on the menu. I know your family and friends are going to love it. For this comforting slow cooker recipe and more, go to tnbeef.org.